Hey everybody, welcome. Dion here with the Turquoise Iris. It's day four of 100 lives in 100 days. That is consecutive, hopefully. Um, I might skip Thanksgiving and Christmas, but you never know about me. Day two, I started working on her hair and framing out this young woman. Um, and as you can see, I have um, a series going on here. And so um, I ended up finishing the blue piece that we worked on yesterday. I stayed up really late and I got really excited about it and I just couldn't stop. Um, ended up finishing it, getting it staged today. The weather was crummy, it's rainy. Um, so I had really bad lighting, but I think I got some really good photos. So when I get off of here, I'm gonna post a full view of the blue china hutch that I've been working on. Um, actually, I think I started it before we left for Paris. Um, but I went away and I got totally inspired by some of the old rustic doors. Um, not just that, but just the, the age and architecture of everything that we saw in France. I came home and knew exactly what I needed to do to that blue hutch. So, um, welcome everybody. Dion here at the Turquoise Iris, and I am working on um, number three in this series, and I want to really do a blondie, if you know what I mean. I, I have a blonde um, young boy. He's got He's 14 now, and his hair is starting to dark, but my goodness, they call him the toe head for so long. He was, he's the kind of boy when his hair would get wet. Look like he was bald. So I've kind of got that in mind with this young lady here. I'm gonna put a little bit more flounce to her braid. Um, thanks for joining me for day four. Um, thank you so much, I appreciate you. I was actually able to paint most of the day. I'm gonna make this just be real. Loose. I want this one to be a pretty loose braid. It's going to have lots of strings and all of that going on too. So let me let that dry up just a little bit and then I'm going to um, start working on her dress. I want a little bit more um, texture to her dress. Right now it's just all kissing booth, which is a fuchsia. Um, color from DIY. Where is... No, that's not going to work. This will work right here. This one. All right, so let me get my water bottle, actually. Let me, I'm going to spray her dress just a little bit. Hi. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for, for watching, too. They are intended to um, be more of an abstract, you guys. So um, this was, I showed you the first one. This was the second one, in case you're new here. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, we've got lots and lots of layers of color, as any artwork should be, lots of layers. And while that's setting up a little bit, I'm gonna add in some color for my flowers. I'm seeing flowers off in the distance and then I'm also seeing a small, really small bouquet in her hand that she's carrying. It turned winter today in Oklahoma. I don't know where everybody else is, but man, it turned winter today. And if you followed me long enough, you know I don't like winter. It puts me in a really bad mood. It makes me really, really cranky. Not that I'm really, really cranky, but it puts me in a bad mood when you run outside and you just <gasps> get to run fast. And it's raining today too. So it's been a really good day to be able to stay in and paint, which is what I've been able to do. I'll put a little pink in her hair, guys. Because why not? OK, 
Okay, while that's setting up. I want to give her dress just something a little fun. So I've got my turquoise here. I've got my flat pilot knife, and I'm just gonna kinda outline it a little bit with this turquoise. It's really subtle, but it almost looks like stitching. A little bit of a cross stitch there, just for a little bit. Probably, you might not even be able to see it on there. Hey guys, thank you so much for the thumbs up and the hearts. I don't like it either. It snows big in Upper Michigan. Oh gosh, I bet. It's cold and dark already in England. Oh. See, you guys are like me. You don't like the winter then. I like sundresses and flip flops. I mean, I don't like 100 degree weather, but last week the weather was beautiful and insane. Actually, the first of this week it was gorgeous, but. You can tell I'm getting older because I start talking about the weather. <laughs> you love winter and hate summer. Yeah. I'll put a little of this and a little of that. Right now I'm just kind of adding textures and at the end it'll all come together. Um, I put some turquoise stitching here on the dress. A little bit of shading. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna bring in some color for her hair, okay? Um, where's my brown? Bring in a little bit of brown. It's 75. I like 75 and above. There you go, girl. That's me right there. Give me 75 and sunny. <laughs> So the light's coming from over here, so I'm going to darken it just a little bit over here. Now I have a particular palette knife that I like to use for the braid. It has a little curve on it. It's smaller than this that I'm going to get here in just a second. Nope. That's not it. Where is she? There's this her. I like to use this one for the braids because it's curved. Look at you guys, how are you? I hope you're all having a wonderful evening. You so want to play on canvas. You inspire me to work outside the box. Good job, girl. There's no point in staying inside that box. It's not as much fun there. There's usually rules inside the box. You know what I mean? I don't need a stinking rules. <laughs> how are you guys? I see my friends popping on here. When I say friends, I mean the people that keep coming on every night, showing up, watching. <laughs> Thank you for that. The conversation came up yesterday with someone. And she was asking me something and I said, you know, you're asking someone who's gone live every Friday for the last 104 Fridays. No, 106 Fridays in a row. So doing 100 days in a row honestly just doesn't really sound, I mean, it will be stressful at times trying to come up with content, but it gives me the opportunity to actually get to paint 
and maybe do something that I don't normally do. Maybe I won't paint. Maybe I'll do something different with you guys, especially as we go through the holidays. Maybe we'll do some fun projects. I'm not much of a crafty girl. But I do have a new house to decorate, so I might get a little inspired, who knows. You're watching from the Eastern Shore of Maryland. Well, Marianne, welcome, dear. I'm so glad you're here. It's an hour later there than it is here. I bet it kind of sounds a little chilly there. Am I right? Okay, I'm going to actually take this. Nope, not that guy. I'm gonna take this guy. <laughs> this is my cheerleader brush from the Turquoise Iris collection and I'm gonna actually just give her some, some wings. Just, not wings, just some flyaways. Just some hair that's kind of just, it's kind of come loose out of the braid and it's flying away. And then we'll start on the, uh, we'll start on the crown of flowers. I want it really loose, as if Mama fixed it first thing in the morning and then it's come loose as she's been out on recess. All right, well, let's get some greens, shall we? Her hair is not finished, but I've got to kind of leave it alone and let it set up a little bit before I kind of, before I play with it. It's almost 2 a.m. there. You should be sleeping. <laughs> You're right. You should be. Why aren't you? Her head was suddenly three-dimensional when you added that red. Lovely. Oh, thank you, Lolly. I appreciate that. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to add some more colors, too. I'm gonna put in some cobalt blue, which of course is not in someone's hair, but, oh, thank you, Laura. There, there hi, I appreciate you. Um, both of the other girls have a little blue, they have a little turquoise. Um, I should do a close-up so you see all the colors that are in their hair. Um, Someone today gave me this suggestion of doing two girls with their heads leaning together, um, like two sisters or two friends. So I think I'll try that for, for girl number four. They sent me an image and it was just really beautiful and so thoughtful for them to think of me to share that with. stuck to myself. So I have, my mom was here today and she was painting our guest bathroom and she painted it a really light periwinkle. It was bright red or dark red I should say but she painted it this light periwinkle and tonight it just looks like it's glowing. It is so much better. Hi AJ! you guys follow on Facebook? Do you guys follow Miss AJ right there? Miss Amy O'Connor? She does paint tutorials on YouTube and on Facebook. I follow her. Okay, so I love that. I'm going to actually put just a little bit of green here. Let's add in some color. Don't nobody panic. It's just a leaf falling. Just a little twig. I'm gonna put just a couple of sprays, a couple of sprays. You have to understand that what I 
do is more unexpected and not necessarily about literal. I don't do literal. Love me some Amy. Mona says, absolutely. Yes, you guys, look at you. Okay, um, let's, do, let's do a color we haven't done before. So let me get some purple. Um, let's do purple and yellow in her hair. Um, do I have purple? Just a moment. Let's see. This one and oh, oh, oh. Did y'all hear that fall off the shelf? grabbed one of my colors and it just went tumbling down in my face. All right, so I grabbed um, a light purple because I haven't used purple yet, but she's got a little of that in her dress. So let's do that for the flowers. And then we'll do yellow and that fell on the floor as well. And this one, I haven't even opened it yet. It's called fluorescent pink and it looks really orange in the cameras, but it's not. It, it's, it's more of a fluorescent red. All right, let's get her some flowers on her head and then I'll let you guys get back to your evening. What should we name her? What should we name her, you all? Help me out. Oh my. Y'all didn't hear my stomach grumble, did you? I just ate. Caroline, Amber, Grace, y'all are saying names. So um, the, the first one, um, the first one was, what did I call her, you guys? I'm drawing a blank now that you're on here. Oh, the first one is her favorite color is October. And then this one is yellow is her favorite month. So maybe we should think in those terms or it might sound funny just to call her Diane. You know what I mean? Autumn, that's a good one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if we just go with, you know, Susie, when those other two ladies have longer names. Maybe we need something a little different. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, what I'm not liking is her arms. I've got to work on that. I've got to work more on the flowers. I need her hair to set up just a little bit more so I can add in some lower layers. I'm going to put in some white. Um, so that's what I'm going to work on. What are you working on? Autumn is her favorite feeling. Tammy, that's a good one. I like that one. I'll think about that. Summer is her favorite place. Summer is her favorite month. Um, my mother has strawberry blonde hair. When she was young, I have a long piece of her braid. My mother's name was Caroline. Carolyn? Carolyn, that's beautiful. 
You guys, thank you so much for joining me for day four of my 100 lives in 100 days. Susie in the sky with diamonds. Abby, hi honey, I'm so glad you're here. Um, you all have a wonderful night and tomorrow I will be here for Friday Night Live, 8.30 Central Time. I will have a guest on with me. She will be here at my home painting live with me. So I hope you all can join and actually give her lots of love and encouragement. Uh, she'll be sad if nobody shows. And of course, y'all, I appreciate you being here. Um, thank you on YouTube for the 14 thumbs up. I'm still new to that market. When she dreamed of becoming an artist. So Shelly, there's my sister-in-law. That's a good one, Shelly. Um, so you all, peace is her favorite time. Okay, I gotta read all these. I don't wanna miss one. You guys are excellent. Have an awesome night, and I will see you guys tomorrow uh, right here, 8.30 Central Time. Thank you. Spring is her favorite feeling. Love, you guys are so good at this.